Hello everyone! In this Java programming tutorial you will learn about a class called ArrayList and an interface called ListIterator. I will provide a code example in Eclipse on how to convert an array to an ArrayList and how to iterate forwards and backwards through all of the elements within the ArrayList using ListIterator. A list is an ordered collection. The list interface implements the collection interface. Unlike sets, lists may contain duplicate elements. ArrayList is a class that implements the list interface. Let's start out by importing all of the classes that we will need for our code example. Import java.util.arraylist Import java.util.arrays Import java.util.listIterator Within the main method, create a new array of strings. String, the symbol for array, my array, the equal sign, new string, the symbol for array, and then within the brackets, the string race, the string a, the string not, the string a, the string is, and the string life. Now let's convert this array into an array list. Unlike an array, array list is resizable. Array list string list the equal sign, new array list string, and within parentheses arrays dot as list my array. String is the type of elements that we will use within our array list. Arrays dot as list is a method of the array class that returns a list. Here we are creating a new array list called list and adding the elements from my array to our list. Type system.out.println and within parentheses list and run the program to see our array list. To add to the list, you can use the add method. List.add and within parentheses 3, comma, and the string journey. Here we are specifying that we want the string journey to be added to our array list at index 3. To iterate through the elements of array list, we will use list iterator, which allows us to traverse the list in either direction. First, we will iterate forwards through the list, then we will iterate in reverse through the list. List iterator string iterator the equal sign list dot list iterator. Here we are declaring iterator as a list iterator that will iterate over string type elements and initializing it to iterate over our array list with list.listIterator. The list iterator method of array list returns a list iterator over the elements in this list in proper sequence starting at the specified position in the list. The specified index indicates the first element that would be returned by an initial call to next an initial call to previous would return the element within the specified index minus 1. Now type while and the condition which is iterator.hasNext string word the equal sign iterator.next system.out.print word plus and then a string which just contains a blank space if you look at the Java documentation for list iterator, you can read this line of text. List iterator has no current element. Its cursor position always lies between the element that would be returned by a call to previous and the element that would be returned by a call to next. Our cursor position is currently at the beginning of the array list. So when we call has next, it returns true since there is an element at index 0. We are setting the string word to the value of the next element in the array list. With our cursor at 0, the next element is at index 0. So our iterator will keep running until the cursor gets to the end of array list and iterator.hasNext returns false. Now let's run our program. Now let's change our program to traverse backwards through the array list. List iterator string, iterator the equal sign, List.ListIterator, List.Size. While, in the condition Iterator.HasPrevious. String word, the equal sign, Iterator.Previous. 
system.out.print, word plus, and the string that contains a blank space. The has previous method of list iterator returns true if there is an element positioned before our cursor. The previous method will return the previous element. Now when we run our program, we can see the strings from our array list being printed out in reverse order. You can also iterate through a list using an enhanced for loop. For this example, I used list iterator instead because it allows us to, to traverse the list in either direction. Thank you for watching this tutorial on ArrayList and list iterator. I hope that this has helped you. Please subscribe to my channel, Bootstrap CSS Girl.